we're asked to find an acute angle, so that means it's something between 0 and 90 degrees that satisfies this condition, so that the cotangent ratio is square root of 3 over 3. So you can draw theta. We don't know exactly what it'll look like, but just draw any old angle. And since we're dealing with trigonometry, we'll make a right angle with the x-axis and put it in the unit circle. The unit circle is a circle with a radius of 1, so that means we're just putting a 1 up here for the hypotenuse. And now we've got to figure out what angle goes in here so that this, uh, wait, it's cotangent, so that it's adjacent divided by opposite would be square root of 3 over 3. And so that's where memorizing two special triangles would come in handy. If you have a 30 degree angle and it's a triangle with 1 for the hypotenuse, then you're going to have 1 half for the opposite side. If you've got a 60 degree angle, then you've got square root of 3 over 2. Okay? And then if you have a 45 degree triangle, 1 for the hypotenuse, then you've got square root of 2 over 2 for both sides. Because it's isosceles, both angles have to be the same. So for this one, for cotangent theta to equal square root of 3 over 3, um, we know it has to be this triangle because we have to have a square root of 3 involved. And then let me guess, I guess, I tried to guess wrong and I got it right, so let me see if I can do it this time. Let me choose it. Yeah, um, let's say theta is 60. That's that's just a guess. I don't, or I don't I know it's got to be this triangle, so theta is either going to be 60 or 30 degrees. So if theta is 60, then the opposite is square root of 3 over 2. Oh, I got it right again. <laughs> and the adjacent's 1 half. Okay, I just took a guess. I said, let's just try it out, see what happens when theta is 60. And now, to see if my guess is right, I'll do the cotangent ratio. Remember, cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. See, adjacent divided by the opposite. So the adjacent side is 1 half, and I divide that by the opposite side. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Maybe I got it right, maybe I got it wrong. Let's find out. Um, so I took the adjacent, which is 1 half, Divide by the opposite, which is square root of 3 over 2. Okay, That's what cotangent is. That's the definition of cotangent. So we'd flip and multiply. These 2's would cross cancel. And so this is 1 over square root of 3. And it's like, oh, bummer, that's not the same thing. But it actually is. Because remember, one thing we like to do is to rationalize the denominator. So if you multiply the top and the bottom by square root of 3, and you're multiplying it by 1, so that's not changing it. And so you'll get a square root of 3 in the numerator and a 3 in the denominator. And that's what, we, that's what we were looking for, right? So that must mean theta is 60 degrees. Or you could cut the pi, you could divide by 180 and put a pi on there to put it in radians, right? So that's pi over 3. That's the other way of saying it.